Oh my god. Oh my god. Welcome this to Grub in the Galley with Captain Green Toker. Today's recipe comes from the Sea of Thieves cookbook written by Casey Baker. Today's recipe is Kraken Ink Pasta with Shrimp. While it's fun to go hunt down your own Kraken and harvest the ink yourself for this umami filled dish, I would highly recommend stopping by the Merchant Alliance and chatting with Mavis. She is sure to have some Kraken ink pasta in one of her storage crates. If you're having trouble finding a Kraken, you could always substitute squid. I will have a link below in where I got my pasta. This recipe calls for half a lemon, one clove of garlic, and a quarter cup of olive oil. But since I'm using two pounds of shrimp, I am doubling the recipe. When you have all your ingredients, put them in your food processor. When you have all the ingredients in your food processor, Blend them well. Keep processing until smooth. It ends up looking kind of creamy. I know I have a ninja, but I use what I have. See, it looks very creamy on the inside. Once you have it all blended and smooth, you want to add it to your shrimp. I would suggest getting peeled shrimp that have been deveined because mine weren't and it took forever to do the process that I'm not going to show you. Once you have the marinade on the shrimp, you want to stir them together and get them all evenly coated. Once you're confident the shrimp are swimmingly happy in the marinade, it is time to cover and put in the fridge. Now the recipe calls for eight and a half hours, but I left mine for two days mostly because of adulting, but the longer they sat, the better. Fill a large pot halfway with water and bring to a boil and add your crack and ink pasta. Heat up a large cast iron skillet. Add your quarter cup of butter to the pan and melt it down and get it ready for your shrimp. And just like in the Sea of Thieves, just when you're sailing along peacefully, a rock pops out of nowhere, and I lost power in the middle of cooking. But just like getting reared in the Sea of Thieves, we regroup, adjust our sails, and keep moving to the next island. While your pasta is cooking, add your shrimp to the melted butter when the shrimp was about half done, I added the other quarter teaspoon of pepper, though I didn't measure that well, and I stirred it in. This last little bit, I did a slightly out of order from the recipe book. I added the Kraken ink pasta to the shrimp and stirred it in and incorporated it together. It's at this point where I start to take in the color and the mouth-watering smells. And I decide it is time to add the cheese. You should add about two cups of Parmesan cheese and save a little for after. As the Parmesan cheese melts, I fold it into the Kraken so that it becomes part of the ship, part of the crew, all one essence. I add another half a lemon and fold that in as well because, you know, we must avoid the scurvy. I cannot stand it anymore. This looks so delicious. I must get to plating this. As I'm plating this, this may not look the most appetizing, but the smell is amazing, and I really love seafood. Now it is time to try this delicious delicacy. I will say the aroma is very powerful with the seafood. The instructions say to add the other half of the lemon, but I'll just put some squirts in there. Let's give it a go. Oh my God. Oh my God. 
this stuff is really delicious. 10 out of 10, we'll try again. I will definitely try this again. Remember, why just sail the high seas when you can sail the seas high? And tune back in for more recipes. We will be doing all kinds of pirate recipes, fantasy, reality, and everything. Thank you for joining, and have a great day.